Have you ever thought to yourself, is it possible that the Tea Party could get even stupider? Well, yeah, apparently it's true. Uh, a Tea Party activist, Jerome Corsi, a well-known author who has come out with a bunch of books, how Barack Obama was born in Kenya, not eligible for citizen, uh, he's an evil commie Nazi, blah, blah, blah. Well, now, uh, in with a libertarian group, uh, 1776 something, I forget, uh, he's come out with a YouTube video claiming that Barack Obama, before he was married to Michelle Obama, was married to a Pakistani man. Yeah, I mean, they've actually gone from attacking him for being black, attacking him for supposedly not being in the country, supposedly being a socialist, to... Uh, now claiming he's bisexual. That's actually where they've gone with this now. Now, here's, here's a quote from the actual YouTube video, and of course, there is a link to that video in the description. The evidence, I think, is very strong. The question is not to condemn Obama here for being bisexual or gay, if that's in fact what he is, but to wonder why he's gone to the extent of hiding it, especially when he is now supporting same-sex marriage. What's the duplicity? What's the hypocrisy? I'm, I'm actually really trying to report this without just face palming and then ending the video. Uh, he claims there are multiple pictures that prove Barack Obama wore a wedding ring before he, on his uh, wedding ring finger uh, before he got married to Michelle Obama in 1992. Now, uh, Chris, this, uh, not Chris, uh, Jerome Corsi claims that Barack Obama went on a trip at some point with a roommate who was a Pakistani man and says that there are pictures of him sitting on the guy's lap. So, therefore, Barack Obama is bisexual and was married to him. I've had women sit on my lap and I was not married to them. I was dating them. I wasn't married to them. But, uh, apparently, that's proof enough. A guy who sort of looks like he's sitting on your lap and you have a ring on your finger, which might have even been a promise ring for all I know. I don't really know how that works. So, therefore, Barack Obama's a bisexual. Now, this is, this is on the level of the same childish idiocy where if one guy's hand accidentally touches another, that means they're gay. Or that they start questioning if the other guy is gay and did it on purpose. I mean, on a maturity level, this is, this is the same thing. This, this is absolutely ridiculous. And if you said this about a politician in any other country, you would be looked at as an idiot. And you would have no credibility whatsoever, and you'd be completely ignored. However, this is the United States of America, and for some reason that kind of behavior is acceptable. Now, what we have to do here now is upgrade Obama's definition. Clearly, we've added, or... He has added bisexual to that list. So here's the new definition of Barack Obama. Evil, bisexual, black, secret, Muslim, commie, Nazi. Taking away our guns. This is America. What can I say? Other than thank God I don't live there.